So now I'm with Yossi Peltumar, who's purchasing manager for secondary raw materials at Boliden. Hello. Hello. Great to be here. Well, great. It's great to have you back. And um, Boliden is sponsoring again the Electronics Recycling Conference. Could you tell us why you've decided to come again this year? Why it's important to be here? Uh, I think, first of all, it's kind of the tradition for us to be here every year. And uh, this is a great opportunity to meet our existing suppliers and also actively searching a new possible partnerships. Mm -hmm. um, what has evolved in the last few months, the last year or so for the group? Uh, I think end of the last year we've been preparing our 100 year celebration which is now started in January mm -hmm. and uh, also I could mention that last year for us was a little bit bumpy because we had the major fire at our Rönsar smelter so that has forced us really to reconsider our business model in our smelter side but as such I would say it, it's been a it was a pretty good year no any other major issues and we are soon to complete our uh, green sink Odda expansion in our zinc smelter so it will be major milestone in our uh, green transition metal offerings. So decarbonization is a priority for the group from now it, on? It is definitely and I think it's, it's one of the top priorities of the whole metals and mining and uh, recycling business at the moment and which is actually a quite good thing. Okay, and you mentioned partnerships. We've heard that quite a lot in all of the presentations from all of the actors in the value chain. Um, what does that represent for you having to work with partners? I think I would say that in Bullet and we have always respected uh, long partnerships because that's how you really get to know each other and especially in the recycling side you get to know the materials you can test different things uh, there is more playing field for both partners and it's it is actually like a partnership or more than like a friendship and uh, I think it just adds value to each other so what sort of partners are you looking for here in Salzburg this year? It's uh, difficult to specify any, any special partnerships, but of course we are always interested to hear and discuss with different kind of businesses and different kind of materials if there is uh, any chance for us to treat, treat that material. Mm -hmm. um, and how confident are you for the development of Boliden in the coming years? Uh, I would say that looking our strategy going forward it is focusing to the uh, green transition metals like copper, mm -hmm. nickel, zinc and we are trying to do it as sustainable as possible mm -hmm. and I think we are doing a pretty good job in okay. that area so looking like the development of the world at the moment so it's uh, full of electrification uh, battery mm -hmm. EV cars they mm -hmm. all require a lot of metals what we are actually producing so I think it's not looking that bad at the moment. Mm -hmm. And do you see any particular challenges along the way? Uh, if I would think any challenges especially in the recycling I think of course where is the EU legislation going now there is the closer look to the V directive mm -hmm. uh, so I think we all should cooperate and have a uh, proper channels to communicate between the smelters and the recyclers and the authorities. So I would hope that uh, there won't be any, any issues from that side. That's a great message to finish on. Thank you very much, Yussi. Thank you very much.